Hello and welcome to Crafting with Ty and Friends. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to print larger than what your printer allows. I know I have a video of this, but this video is going to show you guys me printing, cutting, and actually putting together the whole thing. So let's begin. Um, the first thing you want to do is open up your software you're designing in, Publisher Words, Photoshop, wherever you're creating in, and you want to open up a new document. And you want to get rid of the margins, and you also want to change your page size. So we're going to get rid of the margins, and we're going to change our page size. I'm going to change mine to about 28, to about 28, 28. So 28 inch width, 28 inch height. You can change it to whatever you want. If your file is going to be bigger than 28 inches, then of course you want your paper to be bigger than 28 inches. So just change it to fit your needs. And once you do that, you want to go ahead and bring in your photo you want to use. So I'm going to be creating Mrs. Potts. So I'll bring her in and I'll begin to size her to the size that I need. So I have Mrs. Potts here sized the, uh, to the size that I need. Now I'm going to save her. So you, of course you want to save it as a publisher file and then again you want to go back and save it as a PDF file if it's something you are sending to be printed elsewhere. So I'll go ahead and I have to create me a whole new folder. This is good. This is good if you're making your own centerpieces, um, cutouts from home where you don't have to outsource your prints to print larger. I actually do some of mine this way, but most of them I actually get it printed on a full size sheet of whatever size that I need. So let's go ahead and save Mrs. Potts. I'm saving it as a publish in case I need to go back and make any changes. And then I'm going to save it as a PDF file so I can go ahead and print. You can still print straight from publisher or words or whatever. This is just what I do. So once I have it saved, this is my file as a PDF. Now I want to go ahead and print. My printer only prints 8 by 5 by 11. It does not print 28 inches by 28 inches so this is how I print it out and piece it together to complete what I need we're actually going to be sending it to this printer so here it is and it says it will print in portrait mode Colors, all pages. Whoops, hold on. Go back to my publisher. And I am going to print from here. So I can see it in tail form. So I'm printing directly from my publisher. And it will print all pages in settings. You can see it says tile. And this is how it will print. Now you can actually go ahead and change it where it will print landscape just to see if it's actually utilized less paper and less ink. So this one is like 11 sheets if I print landscape. So as you can see, printing landscape is actually a little bit better, it wastes less paper, because this one actually has small little print on a full sheet of paper. So I am actually going to print landscape. 
and then I'm going to send it to my printer and I'll be back as soon as it prints.